I got this smart telescope C-Star S50 last year and when I was first trying to learn how this telescope works, I was trying to capture different objects, deep sky objects, moon, sun, just testing out the tracking uh, future because this telescope can track deep sky objects or planets, moon. It has a future that can track objects. So my main idea, I was tracking the moon and I set it set everything up and everything was working perfectly i have put on the time lapse mode uh the time lapse mode you can record videos too but the time lapse mode is more like taking pictures every second combining all of them at the end and turning into a video so you don't have a giant 30 40 minute video file so you have if you record like two hours of tracking of the moon it's gonna turn into like a 30 seconds video so it's not gonna take too much much space and that's what I was trying to do also I was trying to see because I can see the moon from that parking lot is going to go behind the there's the big high-rise building I want to check if tracking will work when the moon is disappearing behind the building I'm I'm testing this out because I also want to capture moon disappearing in the horizon or like Sun disappearing in the horizon or maybe coming up from the horizon in case in the future if i'm going to try like a sunset video or like moonrise video something like that so i just wanted to see how the tracking works when the moon disappears behind an object i set the camera and i sat and was watching the whole thing from my ipad and the ipad shows actually it takes pictures of the moon every second but i can see the live view of the moon so that's i can see the live view but the pictures taken are every after second so watching the screen of the moon uh, going slowly disappearing behind the, the building and I saw a little dot on my iPad passing like a dark little dot passing in front of the moon and first I thought iPad and take a closer look this may be some type of a glitch maybe something in front of the lens of the telescope and when I look ahead lift my head and look at the actual moon and I could see a tiny dot passing in front of the moon naked eye sometimes I see planes or sometimes I see I see bird in passing in front of the moon but never seen that round object never before that round and it's not rising like a balloon it's going horizontally fast it's just like a straight line going to from left to right i didn't know what to do but i know that my camera is recording a time lapse i was just so excited so that object can pass so i could go back and uh, check the recording and maybe zoom in and try to understand what it is that thing passed in maybe two to three seconds in front of the moon in real time and i waited a little little bit more and i paused the time lapse and start checking the video when i checked the video i saw that i only captured three frames which makes sense it means that because i'm taking a picture one frame per second it means that this object and i can calculate it roughly that took three seconds to pass in front of the moon so you can imagine the real real time speed that was definitely something it wasn't just a glitch or something related with the the telescope and i directed texted my brother my friends and it was midnight and i'm texting everyone i got so excited i actually start researching about it a lot what's this orb looking perfectly round ufos or uaps people captured in the past i started researching back to the sensor question that david raised here in a moment this is a typical example of the thing that we see most of we see these all over the world show up this is an image from nasa's own website you can see what looks to be a line of sphere ufos above earth's atmosphere ufo was recorded next to an airport in florida Yes, sir.
of whether or not you think it's a threat. And so where's the line between this is just some sky phenomenon, even if we don't know what it is, and it could be an adversary. When it's unidentified, we try to look at, is it doing anything that would demonstrate that it's potentially an advanced technology? If it is, for example, a blurry blob floating at the speed of the wind. I posted a couple of different places. I, I had a post on Reddit. I posted on Facebook group. The reactions were similar. Some people are directly saying that's not that's not a UFO, that's a balloon, that's a weather balloon, that's the satellite, that's some object in the sky. But a couple people were just, wow, that's interesting. That might be something. And one guy from Netherlands from that Facebook group contacted me and he sent me some examples and it's hard to notice because it's daylight. It's pretty bright. And he sent me that. We started talking about it. We started sending uh, images back and forth. But the orb shape is really similar. This didn't stop me. There are some websites about uh, UAP and UFO uh, sightings. You can report if you see something. Uh, you can go to those websites and explain the situation. You can upload the documents, the pictures, the videos that you captured. I did that too. I did that to three different websites. Why I'm not making a video about this, I captured the whole thing. I can bring all those footages and explain what happened. And maybe people on YouTube had the similar experience and saw something similar. Maybe they can reach me out, they can contact me. This is a basic delayed video. Uh, it took a whole year for me to finally sitting and editing and putting it all together. That's all about it. If you know, if you see, if you experience anything like this, you can email me. My email is in the down in the description. You can comment on my video too. So let's talk about it.